So uh, the subjects that they'll be talking include uh, you know, process control parameters and um, dynamic responses and process modeling uh, using block diagrams and uh, possible transfer functions and uh, all basic types of control. So if you can uh, just also for familiarity of the others write a bit text about uh, you know uh, your job and the type of industry that you're involved in that would be great. And um, yep, maybe starting with um, Anna. Oh, it shows Anna is uh, Anna Jury is it? but uh, Anna Jurban is in. So okay, I okay, guess you are in the class. Okay. Um, now um, we're going to know basically the control system fundamentals, what are the basic concept of control system and all the components of a control loop, you know, the open loop and closed loop system, the backward and the, the feedback and feed forward control, the, um, using models to predict the responses of a process and block diagram modeling and transfer function, calculations and tuning and all the basic control types and modes of operation. So we'll be, talk, we'll be uh, discussing some of these concepts in uh, uh, you know, this uh, webinar and some of them we go through much details in the next few future webinars. Uh, so, you know, um, as you know, in order the, the to you know, um, uh, succeed in process control, design must establish a good understanding of the process which needs to be controlled. And uh, you know, but in fact, we don't wish to become too much deeply involved in chemical or process engineering. So we need to find a way of making the, uh, you know, uh, simplifying the presentation of the process which we need to control. And uh, this is basically done by adopting a, a method of uh, block diagrams modeling of the process. So the objective is basically recognizing types of uh, process characteristics and understanding the importance of the uh, process and meaning of time constants and what they mean. We'll be talking about the first and second of their uh, responses and also describing the meaning of uh, PV, process variable, SP, uh, which uh, SP stands for set points and or outputs and also describing uh, typical modes of operation of a control system. You know, all process have some basic characteristics in common and if uh, we can identify, you know, uh, these, then the job of uh, designing a, a suitable perfect controller can be made basically uh, to follow a established path and uh, this is basically to learn how to make a, uh, you know, mathematical model of the process accurately and using that model to uh, understand and find out uh, the typical control actions that we can use to make the process operations and all the uh, conditions. So the reasons for uh, improved uh, control, if you, you know, look at the, uh, the first part, the part one of uh, this graph, uh, you can see there are lots of disturbances and oscillations. This is, this shows basically a bad control and uh, the parameter values, you know, as a result of a bad control, there are lots of disturbances and uh, noises, I should say. Uh, with having a better type of control, with a great control, you can get a better type of improved control. And with advanced control system, uh, you can get basically the um, a much improved control functionality. Of course, there is a trade-off between uh, the cost of the control and the quality of the control. Uh, you know, by uh, having a uh, uh, type of bad control, you can see that the initial cost for a uh, type of bad control is lower compared to a advanced control. But if you look at the final cost, uh, you can see that the final cost of a bad control uh, could be much higher compared to uh, a control technique, uh, you know, with advanced control. And the variation of cost, if you can see between a uh, uh, you know, a good control and a bad control. So it's much of trade-off, uh, you know, between the cost and the, uh, you know, quality control.
So the good control facilities is basically having a close operation to optimum production, which uh, helps us having an optimum production by having a improved control function, and the uh, low cost uh, per unit, and also having a safe operation. And uh, also the minimization the, of uh, maintenance, and uh, it's useful having a good, you know, very input uh, control method uh, to have a better planning and uh, forecasting, and also more flexible operations, and of course, a better quality. So you can see over here, which is basically a simple manual control, uh, which is basically an, I would say, this, you can call this an open loop. Uh, that uh, which operator observes and manipulates flow rate manually uh, to achieve the you know, desired level in the tank by closing or uh, opening the uh, you know the valve can uh, the operator can uh, control the flow uh, to the uh, water tank. So this was basically a simple a manual control, uh, which uh, I call this an open loop. So you can see in this slide the components of a uh, process control loop. You know most uh, basic process control system uh, include a control loop, as you can see in this figure over here, uh, which have four main components. Which basically the four main components is a measurement of the um, uh, state or condition of the uh, process, and it is a controller. Um, which basically calculates an action based on the measured value against a uh, you know preset or set point value or desired value, and also uh, it includes an output signal which results from the controlled uh, the controller calculation and is used to manipulate the process action uh, by some form of uh, you know actuator, and the, the process itself which. Uh, reaching to this, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, changing its state of, uh, or condition. So, there are two of the most important signals which are used in process control. One is called uh, process variable, so we show it as PV, so when we talk about PV, it means process variable, and the other one is uh, MV, which is manipulated uh, variable, and uh, in industrial process control, uh, the process variable or PV is measured uh, by an instrument in the field and acts as an input uh, to an automatic controller which takes action based on the value of it. So, uh, alternatively, the PV, uh, you know, uh, can be an input to data display, so the operator can use uh, the reading in order to adjust the process, you know, to manual control and, of course, supervision. The variable which needs to be manipulated in order to have control over the um, process variable is called the manipulated variable or MV. So if we control a, a specific flow, for instance, then we manipulate a valve to control the flow, and uh, then here, uh, you know, the valve position is called the manipulated variable, and the measured flow becomes the uh, process variable. And in case of a simple uh, automatic control, the, the controller output signal, which is uh, OP, uh, it drives the manipulated variable, and in more complex automatic control systems, a controller output signal can drive the target values or references values for other controllers. So the ideal value of the uh, PV is often called target value, and in the case of an automatic control, the term a set point value is also used and preferred most of the times. Uh, 